Uh, my mom was here. <laughs> okay, tell us, um, you have, you've had the weigh-in uh, yeah. today? Yeah, I had the weigh-in today at 1 o'clock and uh, yeah, it's good to finally get that over and done with and out of the way. Now I'm refilled and had a little nap and yeah, now it's time to focus on the fight. Tell me, yesterday you had 3 kilograms to make up to lose. How did that go? Yeah, it went down smoothly, you know, um, made the weight um, last night and now I was ready to bang. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, you got down to, you lost three kilograms by yesterday, by last night, just done last night. Yeah, we got we got it down last night and um, yeah, we had, had this whole morning just to relax and just wait for the weigh-in, so yeah, it was, it was good. Okay, and after the weigh-in, what was the first thing you ate? Steak, steak, <laughs> steak and chips was the first. As always, is after my, after my wins, I always have steak. So yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's good. So what happens now uh, between now and the fight? Uh, I just get into fight mode. Just get into the, my head and to my um, well, my fight, my fight game, and just wait around and yeah, nice. Just keep nice and relaxed. I saw you uh, eyeball Morgan Jones in the arena today. Um, that went okay with you? Yeah, that went really well. That went really well today. And um, yeah, mm. come Saturday night, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the game plan tomorrow? Game plan is always the same. Just go out there and get the win. <laughs> Uh, tell us about your record at the moment. You are the middleweight and uh, welterweight champion in New Zealand. Am I am I correct? Uh, just a middleweight, middleweight um, unified champion in New Zealand. Yeah. Right. And when did you turn pro? I turned pro at nineteen, at the age of nineteen, and um, yeah, it just started from there. <laughs> and how old are you now? I'm twenty two. I'm twenty two at the moment. So yeah. <laughs> and how many fights and win loss? I have I have had um twelve um, um pro fights nine wins, one loss and two draw. So yeah. Tell me, there's a lot of young blokes out there, twenty two years old, nineteen years old, eighteen, and so on. Mm. What has boxing done for you as a young person? It's uh, really done a lot for me. You know, I, I reckon if I wasn't doing boxing, you know, probably be just working a normal forty hour job. So yeah, it's really done a lot. And um, I hope this inspires a lot of um, young upcoming talent as well. Yeah. Mosi, uh, what would you say, what's your message to young people like yourself, 16, 17, 18, 19, mm -hmm. who might have an interest in the sport? Are there, what are the rewards and what are the challenges for them? And how can they approach being a boxer for lifestyle and also as a sport? Yeah, probably the biggest... Um advice I would give to um, young people would probably be to be patient if they want to join this game because it takes a long time you know um, it's not easy you know um, the weight cuts the eating healthy the the training it's not easy you know you gotta wait for your time and your time will come and as long as you just keep training hard and keep sticking to what you're, you're, you're doing then everything will come into place and Go put put you through it. Okay. What's it like being part of the Joseph Parker journey? Mm -hmm. What's it like being here in Wales and the uh, um, the biggest boxing event that New Zealand has seen? And you're right here as part in, uh, in in taking part in it. I mean, it's been it's been beautiful, you know, just seeing all the all the lights, all the cameras, and being surrounded by former world champions and other top boxes of of the world you know it's it's a dream come true for me just just being surrounded by them and um i'm just grateful and blessed to be part of this journey too what's your what are your aspirations what's your dream what's the dream here the dream has has always been since i was four years old to be a world champion yeah All right so the uh, world champion in your weight what's your what's the ideal weight for you which is, uh, my ideal weight is um, super middleweight, which is 76.2, so yeah. 
And uh, how many fights do you think you might be away from realising that dream? Oh, well, I know if this fight goes well, this will kick us off to a, a good platform to get started and start climbing that championship level. Yeah. Mm. Uh, tell me, look, you're travelling here with your dad and you have your trainer and your coach here with you. Uh, so is there some familiarities with it? What's it like having dad on, on your side, by your side, uh, in training and leading up to the to the fight? I mean, it, will, it means the world to me to have my dad next to me in, in this journey, you know. Just have him f see what, um, see all this um, that I'm seeing and that I'm a part of. Um, you know, it's, I've been... It's grateful that my dad gets to be a part of it too. And tomorrow you go into that ring. Uh, you have six rounds with Morgan Jones of Wales. Mm -hmm. um, it is, is it uh, a bit of an issue? Is, is it a, a challenge for you to have to fight somebody here who is from here and he will have a lot, a lot of local support? It's not a challenge at all. I think I just got to keep down to my, my game plan, keep nice and relaxed and... Um, you know, God will, God will um, make the way for me and make the way to see who comes out on top. All right. All right. So, uh, uh, greetings to your family and your friends out there. We'll probably catch this on YouTube or even on Facebook page, Samoa Events Facebook page. Uh, what would you like to say to them um, 24 hours out mm -hmm. from your big fight? Um, to my, my family back in Samoa and New Zealand, I love you. Thank you for supporting and your prayers. Um, I they they don't go missed. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All the best for the win tomorrow. Thank you. And we'll talk to you after the fight. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Cool.